Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to explain something to you about evap lines, the secret to evap lines. I just want to explain that this is just a theory that I have picked up from doing tons of research. Uh, I have a very curious mind, so I do a lot of research. I've taken five pregnancy tests, and I'm not going to lie, I've taken five of them um, because they all come out negative, but way later they come out positive. And as you can see, there's a line here. Um, you can barely see it because I did do this twice. I wanted to see if you can take a, a test twice. You can't really see this one. Um, but on here, this is the one I use for the channel or for the thumbnail. It's, it has a line and it's a shadow. Um, but if you really look at it in the light, it's blue. And this isn't the only one that came out like this with the pink line. I have several other ones, two other ones that came out the same way. Um, and uh, so I wanted to go ahead and explain evaporation lines. Uh, there was a gentleman who worked in a the, laboratory in a hospital and i'm going to find his article i'll post it in the description box so you guys can read it what happened is he said that he was tired of hearing women talk about evaporation line because what goes down when you have a pregnancy test is the lines that turn the reason it turns a different color is because of the hcg hormone in your body and so uh if you're creating hc hormone it don't matter how long it is that it has passed in the time that you've taken the test if it is present and that line is pink or blue there's hcg hormone in your body so a lot of women are like well i didn't end up pregnant you know i i I ended up pregnant or I didn't end up pregnant and I want to explain to the ladies who think they didn't end up pregnant they had their period here's what I feel like is happening if you check this later on and there is a pink or blue line it is probably because you are possibly pregnant now I'm gonna say this and I don't know who's gonna backlash on me but I just want everyone to be aware of what's going on is that I gone through a lot of um, miscarriages so it's possible that you are actually having a, a chemical pregnancy a miscarriage before anything is actually fully developed and taken um, even before the implantation bleeding or implantation occurs it's called a pregnancy it is where a uh, chemical pregnant uh, sorry excuse me I can't talk chemical miscarriage and what that means is that the embryo or the the egg itself that was uh that was fertilized didn't get a chance to plant onto the uterine uterine wall so because of it could be because of chromonal differences because of like gene problems any kind of issues that was wrong with the the baby itself the fetus um or the egg it it just basically wasn't going to take place. The pregnancy wasn't going to take place. So you were getting pregnant, but it didn't happen. It didn't implant. And what, so then you start bleeding like you're having your period. Now, how, how have I been able to tell? I'll go into the next video because I have to keep these short. Um, I will go into the next video and explain to you guys how I was able to tell that I was having chemical pregnancies and chemical miscarriages. And... Um, it was very distinctive for me. It happens all the same way. And so in the next video, we'll go ahead and talk about that. But if you do get what people call evaporation lines, mostly it's going to be like a gray color. It's not going to be a pink line. It's not going to be a blue line. It's going to be gray. But if you have a pink or blue line like this and like this, it is probably positive, even if it is five hours later uh, otherwise it wouldn't have detected that that level in your bloodstream all right guys so join me for the next video and i'll go ahead and explain the chemical pregnancies and the evaporation lines together okay